Happy Sunday, oh, my people, Nigeria. Una happy Sunday, oh. It's been a long, long time. Make una not vex, so. Oh. Mm. Make una not vex. Say, I know, I know, abandon Nigeria at all, and I know abandon politics for Nigeria. But now family issues. Um, my people for Benin say, where you see waiting past farm, you go leave farm. <laughs> not be say, uh, waiting happen to me past Nigeria at all though but uh we thank god for life and we thank god uh i never day around since i did nigeria for three weeks i just come back and then uh, back in london trying to do a few things but first and foremost make i thank you all my people now god go bless all of you now god go bless you now as my late friend used to say uh sonny yawos he said god go bless you on top god go bless you below and god go bless you all over now God will bless you now all my fans. Now God will bless you now where, where I love every one of you. Can never love you enough. I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your loyalty. I thank you for all the support where I did get from Una. Una be better people. <laughs> and for those of Una when they diaspora, Una be your gag pata pata. You see that, uh, that uh, election uh, when uh, Odorige do online. I know fit participate because I was in Nigeria then. <laughs> but I'm happy that our brother Showare in win. Showare, congratulations, sir. I thank God say Oga Showare in win. And it goes to show say those of us when they diaspora, when they look, because when you they outside globe, they look inside you, they see better. It shows say those of us when they outside Nigeria, we are really thinking along the same line. Yes, Showare might look to some people irradical, but Showare don't prove himself. They say that Showare na he help Boari enter. Maybe na so we don't know. Maybe na he help Boari attain office. I don't know. But Oga Showare don't see say he make mistake. You know, since that time, una all do well. Steve Best, thank you. Princess uh, Ooko, thank you. Osage Daniel, thank you for watching me. You know. Una do hello my sister. I love you, my darling sister. Happy Sunday to you. Show what I don't show say in a man. Yeah, we do that election. No rigging. We see say show what I win. What did that one tell all of us? Make we all line up behind show what I make una not vote for anybody else. So mm -hmm. I don't talk about before. Bohari Natif. Atiku Natif. None of the Unafi trust for Bohari I Kuro Kuro. Then they kill our soldiers. Then they kill our soldiers anyhow for Buhari presence. I cried my eye red yesterday when I they read more than a hundred soldiers killed. That the one when they feel report to not be the one they they want they never report my brothers and sisters. Now papa and mama bond those soldiers. Now wife and children now be now be those soldiers people. They get family. All of us go Sunday uh, Sunday church today. Me now I dress. Within my heart, although I feel pain, but it not be like mama when he losing Peking for war front when he stand up now. It not be like Peking when he losing papa when he papa now they come back when he not understand what thing they happen now. It not be like wife when he be tea saying get husband. When he not... Where you know, where you know fit, uh, get up, where you know fit get up from bed now to feed children. My brothers and my sisters. But I read already proof saying a failure. Some people they tell us, that's so you do this small thing. That's so you do that small thing. Not be that one with the talk. Anybody when you take the role of president of Nigeria has to have the ability and capacity to actually protect Nigeria as a nation. Protect our borders, protect our people. It no matter whether the person they deaf, blind, and crippled. Once now Nigerian, the government owe them to us to protect us. For our soldiers to they die for war front like that. Because one military commander or minister don't tip all the money when he's supposed to take by current weapons. Meanwhile, these devils, whether they call them, um, whether they call terrorists so. They get the most sophisticated weapons. You carry those people with with a uh, gun. 
go war front, Buhari, you know go better for you. Honestly, your minister, your 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 minister for when they in charge of getting weapons for these people, whatever minister they in charge, the person a thief. Because every day we they allocate billions to security. But we not see them for eye. All the all the the weapons when they get, they're old. Even some of the soldiers record. Can you see the kind of armory when they get? Now shame. As a nation, even if Ghana won't fight us now, they go overrun us. Now shame, oh, now big, big shame. My brother, uh, Sage Daniel, thank you. Thank you very much. We are all doing well. Me, the twins, their brother, my mother, we are all doing well. Thank you for asking. I, I, appreciate, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. So, you know, it is sad that Buhari sit down. They see us and make we give her another chance. Our men are being killed in the war front by these, ty these tyrants, these idiots. For whatever reason, they are murdering our men and our women. And Buhari still get the effrontery, shamelessly asking Nigerians to vote for her. Buhari, now God go punish you. Honestly. See the way that they kill our soldiers. No weapons for these soldiers. No protection for them. Nobody cares. I care. I do care. They may not be my direct blood. They may not be my brother or my sister. But they are human beings too. They do not deserve to die. Their families are in pain now. Those people, when they kill, their families are in pain. They don't kill middle battles. They don't take their villages. Boari, you've done nothing. You've done nothing. You've just sat there like a dead wood. Now, so he built railway. When Aga uh, show or show us, now shame as compared to Kenya, as compared to uh, other places where railway they go now. Now shame. I they shame. I they shame. Where well? I they shame. To be called a Nigerian, I they shame. Because of the because of the stealing of our politicians, Nigeria not get face anywhere. Nigeria no get face anywhere. Nigerians are being harassed all around the world from every corner. Our little children are killing themselves on the streets because their parents have lost focus as well. Nigeria no get, no get face anymore. We have corrupt leaders. We have irresponsible wives and mothers and fathers. Which kind of life will they live? Nigerians, make una sit down, make una think. Make una sit down, make una think. Is Buhari worth voting here a second time? Are people really justifying his his four years of, of of hopelessness as an achievement? Who are those behind him? Who are those saying he can do it again? I was I was driving on the street of Benin in the GROA around the Pokpa. I was driving around and I can't see this huge billboard for this non-entity they call Obahi Agbo. That man when they speak grammar when he not there for book. He's calling himself a vocal voice. Vocal voice of nonsense. Because nothing when they talk when it makes sense. To so even the common man, or even those when he follow and did the assembly. The man are nuisance. Now groups like that, naifu, naifu APC. APC not get anybody where anybody feels say in go trust. Nigeria is in darkness. And therefore, and now the painful thing is say Nigerians don't even begin to accept. Say that darkness, say okay. I ask, say, why Nepal they take light so much? I see, say, that so, so uh, gasoline, and then they burn for generator. I say, why, they, why? Why they go bring light one hour? They say, oh, now three, three hours, they say, they, they share. Hey? Three, three hours, they say, yes. Because some people for some hinterland, like all those upper Sakoba, they know they pay Nepal bills. Some go pay, some not pay. So they say, because of that, the one when, when they gather small, Officer don't tiff him. The one where they for take by equip, equipment not condi. And the same set of people now want vote them again. Nigerians, what did they do on their head? Atiku, if he says he's an honest man because the wife they are say white people they call him husband thief. Madam Atiku's ma. Good afternoon. My name is Esther Morigi. I just come back from Nigeria. Make I speak directly to you. You say how people take things say your husband a thief, not thief. I am telling you now. I am confirming it to you. If uh, if Atiku can justify to us how he became rich from being in customs just on that salary, then we no go call a thief anymore. They say you they ask how your people they call your husband thief. Me, Esther Morigan, say your husband a thief. 
As a matter of fact, now, thief, 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 thief. There is no clean person in your midst. If no shame, not go let you open your mouth, ask. Say, how your husband take be thief? Now, thief he be. I think he's a thief. That is why he cannot go to America. He is a thief. He cannot. He will try to resolve that now. He cannot go to America because he is a thief. And so I talk as a thief. He is not worth voting for. He is not worth voting for. At all. And Buhari is not better. Buhari is allowing Nigerians to be wiped out. And he wants to come back. By the time he come back, South, make una prepare. If una open una eyes, go vote for Buhari. Now, middle bed, they don't reach from the north. Make una look up from northeast that they come down. They don't reach middle bed, almost, almost into Ilori and into Enugu. How, what if you guarantee so they not go wipe out the east and come to the far south? What did they wrong with una? Well, now go one vote, Buhari. The man is hopeless. He's hopelessly useless. That's the, that's the phrase I have for him. He's hopelessly useless. A man who cannot defend us. A man who cannot provide us with, with good health. A man who cannot provide... Ah, make I not even talk about salario. When I hear the letters, those when they, when they thief left, right and center with all the different things when they, they say that they, they, they're entitled to. Now that they talk, say, to increase salary. Although me personally, I don't think increasing the salary is what the solution is. They should be checking, there should be there should be a check on our market, how we receive uh, food and how it's sold. And everything has to be checked. Land, landlord for for Lion Street go say in room now 720 naira. Meanwhile, for for Oju Elegba, a landlord go say you. Na 650. Therefore, another place, another one go say, you know, na 5,000 naira. There should be checks and balances around around prices of things when we get for Nigeria. <laughs> but as a native, thief, 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 30 million, for the whole world, na Nigerian senators and governors and president, na and money paso. Even for UK, where me did so. Yeah, I had so. Our MPs, they know they receive that kind of money. Oh. Plus all the bribe and all the thief when they're the thief. And they end money pass. And now that they say to increase to 30,000 for civil servants, poor man. And they don't go check. They don't go put check on prices of things. So they say he did too much. He go, he go, he go cripple the country. But their own millions and millions not cripple the country. When I see the kind of people who they say, when I want to vote. When I see the kind of people who they say, when they consider to vote. Ah, me, I they tell you now. If you not vote, Buhari, nobody needs to sympathize with you now. Nobody. Nobody needs to sympathize with you now. You vote Buhari or Atiku, you are finished. You vote Buhari or Atiku, you are finished. There is no two way to it. I am saying it without fear. If you vote Buhari or you vote Atiku, you are finished. Nigeria is already in ruins. Why is Buhari desperately, why uh, Atiku desperately wanting to come back? The only fact that he is missing now is former president of Nigeria. Good evening, my brother Evan John. Thank you. Not be saying in the comeback to come to Nigeria any good though. Now to come add that feather to in cap. The man is hopeless. He's a thief. Nigerians not get shame. If to say they get shame, how is Buhari going to face somebody like Trump? Or how is Atiku going to face Trump that they are asking to go? Atiku is going to go there with that soiled garment to go face Trump. How the man go open his heart to ask companies to invest in Nigeria? When our leader is not trusted, how is he going to attract investment into Nigeria? So, for those of you saying you are campaigning for Atiku, you are articulated. Eh? You are articulated to bring Atiku back. How, how do you think his, his, uh, how do you think his image is in the wider world? How is that going to benefit Nigeria? A man that is known for his corruption is trying to come back. Buhari that is hopelessly useless, that has been sitting there and watching Nigerians being slaughtered on the front line. How do you now think any of them would be of any use to Nigeria? We are Nigerians. Yes, we are many, but we are not asking for people to kill some of for us. We are not Chinese when they kill, they want to kill. They say they want, they, want, they want to kill people. They want, I did see one video, I wept of Chinese attacking the elderly. Is it true? I hope not. Because I saw that thing. I don't want to believe it's true. I hope not. And I pray it's not. Because the government should actually clamp down on them. 
We may be many. Human beings are many in the world. Everywhere you go, there are human beings everywhere. But nobody has right to take anybody's life for any reason. You have no right to kill anybody because of their color. You have no right to kill anybody because of their religion. We all have individual religions. You have no right to kill anybody because of their sexuality. You have no right to kill anybody because of the fact that they are poor. You have no right to touch anybody. People are being killed. People are being killed. And Buhari is sitting there, well, I'm fighting corruption. For how long is he going to fight corruption? He's fighting corruption. Yet, the, the, the ammunition... Our, our, um, we, we are almost without ammunition. Sorry about all this break. Now, you know, when you are using telephone, we, we have, we almost have no ammunition to fight the enemy. Eh? Boko Haram don't, Boko Haram, when they tell us that they don't wipe out, they don't almost wipe out all our soldiers. It's all right for us to just write ROIP on Facebook. It's just all right for us to, Right, rest in peace, a gala soldier. But do we know what it really means to miss, to, to, to lose somebody? Who, who has been in that, if you've not been there, you may not understand. If you've never lost a brother, a sister, tragically, untimely death, you've never lost uh, a friend, you've never lost a husband or a son, you may not understand. The pain is beyond somebody putting hot iron in the fire and piercing it through your heart. Boari is sitting there because there are soldiers surrounding him and his wife, protecting him and his wife and children. They have protection. We don't. We are common people. And he's allowing our soldiers to be slaughtered. For somebody to sign saying he won't be soldier, now because he's ready to fight. And today... Buhari is still campaigning with that in, with that in Dansiki, they go round. So many people vote for him. The man not get conscience. The man not get conscience. Honestly, not get conscience. Because the wife, when your husband go war front, when he not come back now, as we they talk, that woman, they pain. That woman, they cry. The, the picking when your papa go war front, when your papa promise and say, when I come back, I will do this, I will do that. When your papa not come back, that picking, they confused and don't understand what thing happened to her. The mama when he picking they walk. When he go say, ah, when I come back from this one, mama I go buy you this. When he picking, not come back. The pain when he day, nobody feel explainer. And as we they talk this Sunday, Boari go don't chop breakfast, don't chop lunch. But those when he die, they are not coming back. And their family, when the mouth when they they feed, nobody now to replace that person. And Boari still get the guts to stand before Nigerians and tell them, saying, "One come back, come back to where." Come back to where to come vote. So if Nigerians really vote for, you go re-sit down for that seat. Come back to where. And what is Atiku going to do different? If you were to put Atiku there, Atiku go free come to United Kingdom, come tell Theresa May, say, he want investment for Nigeria. A man cannot be trusted with the money he's been given in Nigeria. America tagged him a thief. The, you know, if picking the thief for house, they put him for soup. Neighbors not they know. Until he go go next door, neighbor go put him for him bag. Picking when he don't become that one, I am drop by be. And as far as I am concerned, uh, Atiku, I am drop by. Now, thief. Because America don't call him thief. If he so, nah, say he not be thief, make his suit those when he talk him. Now, thief he be. That's why America talk. And that's why he cannot go there. Even Obasan just confirmed it. And some Nigerians are still actively saying they're articulated. You must be mad. What is wrong with Shokwara? What, can, what is wrong with Shokwara? What can Atiku do that Shokwara cannot do? Tell me. What is wrong with Shokwara? What can Atiku do that Shokwara cannot do? We should give others opportunity to. Not the same set of idiots coming all the time, over and over. And yet, the Senate have nothing to say about the dead soldiers. All they are going to say is they are sorry. They're going to commiserate. They're going to visit their barrack. That's not going to bring them back down. It's not going to bring them back. They are dead. Their children are now fatherless. Their wives, widows. Their mothers, broken-hearted. Their fathers, confused. Abo Aristi wants to come back. To be president of who? Of Nigeria? No. Atiku wants to come back. To, be, to come and rule who? 
Because the only thing he's desperately hanging on to now, the one he wants, the extra, the extra labor he wants is to say, former president of Nigeria, sir, his excellency, when he's not excellent. You people are honorable where you are not honorable. You are where you have no honor attached to you, no integrity, you bastards. You're killing Nigerians. You're killing Nigerians. You're killing them with hunger. You're killing them with frustrations. You're killing them with, 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 with terror. And yet you want to come back. Una no fear. Una de Chris. What can Buhari and Atiku do that Showare cannot do? The moment you give him that mandate, he will take authority and do it better. He's younger. He has foresight. He never thief. Want to give Atiku. Atiku that was bribing $5,000. That money when they give to people, where you think they go gather? He gave five thousand dollars to every, every, every uh, body when he they everybody when he be say then they every, to everybody when he, when 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 he, they go for primaries he they bribe them when all the opponents give them five thousand dollars where on artist say go gather that money the moment he comes in the first money he would give is times five or ten or that what is they wrong with now you are articulated. Now only articulated. Una no guelo. If any of you is seriously thinking of campaigning for that bastard, or you are still thinking of, of supporting him, there is nothing wrong with supporting people like Showare. He has stood, he has stood, he has traveled, he has gone around Nigeria, he is going around the wider world telling people what he intends to do. Ask him questions, bring him to the fore. And ask him questions. If he's not able to answer you, then he's not worthy to be supported, isn't he? He said, Una, they follow all the thieves when he did. You go hear them. They clap, people, they clap for Abahi Agbon when he don't finish. Which he knows when he be like Kingfish Ao. They call a voice, a vocal voice of rubbish. Talking rubbish. Go house, uh, house of, uh, of Senate. Talk for 30 minutes and, and make not even one sense. Now, idiots like that. Naifu, Naifu, Naifu APC. They don't they don't lock uh, Shomole now for one for one guard for one cage because that one in body be want to catch her. Oh, I bet you when you do belly like like the one where you drink dead but uh, body water. What is they wrong with now? Nigerians, you should never vote for people like Atiku or, or uh, APC or PDP. Go ahead and vote, vote the new parties. Vote for Showare, AAC, vote for him. We in diaspora, we've spoken. Is the, that is the best we can do for you. We can only tell you what we see. And I expect you to take that on. We are looking on the inside. You are inside. I've been to Nigeria now. I've just come back in three weeks. And I could be in Nigeria in another few weeks. You know? Because what I'm doing in Nigeria, I've not finished. So what I'm telling you in effect is, they are not worth your time. Even educated ones are saying, uh, there is no way uh, new ones will win. Why not? Have you given them chance? Have you encouraged your family to vote for them? Why are you always voting the, the wrong ones? The, the, the common Nigerian is suffering on the street. No food to eat. I was so shocked to see how many beggars we had on the street. How many beggars? We may go carry picking for back. He dead blind, he go hold stick. One picking go hold that. Those children are not going to school. The government is not looking into that. Children are our future. Whatever you sow into them today, we build our future for us. The government will not care about the poor. Government will not care about beggars. Hey. Eh? What did they wrong with you now? You want to vote APC? You want to vote a, 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 a PDP? When Showare, young vibrant man going around Nigeria, talking to people on the street, uh, confronting even the politicians when he thief money, you not see that one. No one go vote idiot. Eh? But Harib must not come back. Atiku must not be given chance. Nami Tokam, two of them not what you not vote at all. If you have your 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 PVC, hold them tight. So on the day, you will go to the boat, boat and vote for AAC. Since diaspora don't give AAC the mandate, me I stand behind AAC now. Me could not vote for. Them. Me could not vote for all these non entities when they carry Agbada up and down. Small thing because they are so hopelessly useless, they have no work to do. Small thing you go see they carry Agbada, they walk up. They go maybe to go open one small shop, one one, one bus shop where they fry buns. Any government when it gets when when it gets better work to do, you know, get time to go attend birthday party. I never hear say Theresa May attend the birthday party of of my local MP before. 
Now not get head. What did they wrong with you now? Wanna vote out all these idiots, Joe? Make Nigeria good, make person they go. Enter. When I hear say uh, uh, Prince we, uh, Charles was in Nigeria, I was ashamed. Because I see, I, 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 I be like a person when he's naked for street, when somebody wants to see Nyash. That was how I felt. When the man don't go better, better place of the world, he can't come Nigeria and never see take life. See the kind of, see the kind of place when they host, host a whole prince of, uh, 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 prince of, Engl uh, uh, of England. See, see where they, see where they host her. And tomorrow you go expect, say me that one, encourage people for in country, make them come invest for Nigeria. They are also backward. You give, even when you give commissioner money, you must see for your inside. What did they wrong with you now? Come on, drive out these people who cannot act. Let those who can act come in. So they can then deal with this corruption from the top. Not somebody where they sleep for where you sit down. I'm, I, I'm going to fight Kwarasha. And get, and get all, everybody where you there, there for in team. All na thief. All certified thief. Everybody where they know say they're the thief. Who clean among them? Who amongst them is clean? Natinubu, I've been a fashola, I've been a, I've been a, na Oyegu. Oyegu, that one, don't thief, 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 thief. Now they don't take and come out, they don't go back again. All of them not thief. There's hardly any of them free. So why are you people wasting your time? Why don't you go with AAC? Go with AAC. Vote your worry. If you ask, ask your worry, I'm not registered with AAC. But I'm telling you, the better, those of us won't stand for back, for outside, so now we they see the inside pass. So I'm telling you, there are a lot of things I hear that you don't, that I cannot even bring here. They don't finish Nigeria. Batak, batak, batak. Nothing remain. So tell we they stand. We went there for front. Now we they stand for back now. Yeah. Better people when you go feel bring Nigeria to the focus when people go feel to respect Nigeria. People go feel to love Nigeria. We now not let them stand. All of now they go to vote PDP, APC. From now onwards, any APC or PDP won't now see. We could not speak for in face. They're not good. We will not say those things one of the things that they do. Those things are facade though. I go take talker. He be like person when shit fully in house. He can't put fine cutting for door. Hey. Oh, Oyegu is back to PDP again. I'm not surprised. Because they must look for somewhere to thief. But if they come AAC, we will drive them out. We don't do that. We don't have time for that. We will drive them. Any of the new parties, man, I not take all this old thief, oh, they will come take their OSC now. The reason me and not, I never, ah, you see, they pay me, say, I did very busy. I get family things where they do right now. If not, I foresee down here, Gidigba. All through that campaign, I go to the campaign, or anytime I come in and I get the space of time as I talk, so I go see Tokamo, make could not vote any PDP and APCO. When you see, I'm speech for the paper to wear. No, no vote for them. If you want to get out of this, this situation one a day. So if you want to turn Nigeria to ab to abroad, make it a shine, make people they want to come, make could remove PDP and APC. Now so I go talk my own read this afternoon. I don't go church, go worship my God. I give God the glory for Winners Chapel, which is my church. I'm very proud to be a winner. Anybody when you not like an Aitoro, me, I like him. Since I did that church, I have made progress. I have just gone there to praise my God, and it was an awesome service. I give God all the glory. I bless Nigeria, my 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 motherland, from where I'm coming. Because that my Nigeria, I tell you, when I go home this time, I begin miss home bad, bad. Before I not been the miss home. Me, I like being in England, not even bothering. But now when I go home, all I want to do is go back home and just do things in Nigeria. I love you people. You are wonderful people. See us with a fine. Our, now, now our attire, you want to talk. I've been at the food when we did chop. I've been the way we did, they happy as people. But the only thing where I don't like, there are all the bad, bad things when some Nigerians, they do. Make we not try, take Nigeria name, come out for bad book. Make we begin to do good things when they go, they call Nigeria, concern. Make we not follow our, our so-called leaders back. They be bad people. Not follow them, do bad things. Try and do something when it go give you joy. For my page, I love some girls when they my page. One of them, Nawumi Arike. The other one, Doris Okun. You know, when I see girls when they work hard, and so many others I have not mentioned, now God go bless you. You know why I love you? You are working with your hands. Nobody will call you a slave queen. You are a woman, you are a virtuous woman, and you are working with your hands. That is what I want to see Nigerians doing. Wherever they go, I want to see Nigerians who are hard workers, who are who are achievers, Nigerians that can turn dust to gold, not by stealing. I beg no emulate Atikwo, no emulate 
uh, uh, Tinubu. Make you do better markets. Make you go. Even if not tomato you they sell. God can bless anybody like that my brother talk. God can bless you through the little you are doing. Even if na second hand you they sell. Make una bring Nigeria name to better place. Make we vote in my brother Showare. Make we bring him make he be president of Nigeria. Not because I be AAC. I never be AAC. I never register. But I love him. And I know say in plan for Nigeria na better thing. Make we remove Buhari. Make Nigeria wake up. Make we not allow Atiku enter. Atiku na Atiku na leech. Now to enter to cut if all the one way in use. Make we not let her enter. Make we not vote for that man. He cannot be trusted. And for all those young Nigerians that are reading, those that are working hard, that are doing business, may God bless the work of your hand. May Almighty God bless the work of your hand. For those who are slain, who are now bringing our name to disrepute, going to sleep around for money, make you not make you they pray God make HIV not catch you, or make you not go carry hepatitis. Hepatitis is not just through sex, even body bodily contact you go carry. Them. Make you not use sense. Make you not let Nigeria name come back to that to that level where it did before. We are royal. Whether people like him or not like him, it no matter whether you poor, you there for a neighbor for one small village. You are a royal priesthood. You once you are a Nigerian, the blood of Nigeria they pass your body. Now na royalty now you be. Me could not let bad things. All those things where they hear for Nigeria. Say now so people go do ritual killing now they crazy. So they will come catch you. How many people you don't see? Even if people do ritual killing, do you know how they end up? They succeed with them. Una de Chris, those of Unawe, they do them or even think about them. Evil money. What do you need evil money for? Your life will not be at peace. Devil not they give give something. You not ask for something back. When he give you one thing, go take 200 things from you. Why you go want to put yourself in that situation? My brothers and sisters, focus on what you can what you think you enjoy that you can do. Begin, begin clear grass, small, small. Very soon you go see road. If na soap you sabi make, even if you dey sleep for us, you don't know what you go do. Go start work. They for, say follow somebody for shop. You go learn how to sell. Stop thinking about, uh, stop building castles when you have no money. Where you yourself don't work for. Man, when you want us make he give you say that now your sugar daddy, he's an irresponsible man. How much you think saying go fee give you? How much? Even if he give you millions. By the time you convert them to dollar or pound, no, you don't even buy biscuit. So, all I can beg you as Nigerians, make we keep our dignity. Make we use our senses. Make we not vote all these fake uh, men of integrity. But I did not get any integrity. If you say he get integrity, he not go say he go come back when he see so many soldiers slaughtered. If I call for national day or if I call for national week of money for Nigeria, if I honor those people, if I also make sure say not one soul of the soldiers will go lose anymore. If you know say in in minister in in, in armed forces minister, not they trustworthy. Let him send for the ammunition himself. If he really cares about Nigerians. Let him make the direct contact and say, look, I'm the president of Nigeria. My name is Muhammad Buhari. I want such and such ammunition. He used to be a, a soldier. So he know the kind gun when person go carry, when he go kill somebody. But if he did by us because he's a Muslim, and those people when they kill a Muslim, then he's an ass. He is an ass. He cannot, he cannot be biased. Every Nigerian soul is important. Me, I'm a born again Christian. The Muslim man is my friend. I have so many Muslims who are my friends, both men and women. The the Juju man, the Babalawo daughter. If not my friend, I don't go hate her because in Papa na Babalawo. That is their faith. People should learn to respect people's faith. So if Buhari no say he, he, he truly love Nigerians and he care about Nigeria, he go declare mourning for Nigeria. He go fly all flag in Nigeria half mast. He go declare war against those people when they kill Nigerians. But he cannot do it. So what he make Una feel say Una go feel trust him. Wo, me I don't talk my own. Now Sunday be this. And for every Christian, born again Christian, when you did Nigeria, I beg you, let's 
Let's come together and pray for Nigeria. Pray for peace for other Christians too. We are being persecuted wherever we go. This thing is not by choice. It's by calling. Let's pray for peace for us. Let's pray for peace for every Nigerian. Even for here, for England, children are being killed on the street. I go do video on that on YouTube. I want, I want churches to take it upon themselves, to begin pray, especially here in England, for peace on the streets of London concerning our boys. Children are being slaughtered. I, they sent me one video early this week. I don't feel watch them. Because somebody just put knife for the boy back. Chai! Now mama born that Peking. He was looking shocked. No matter they are seen, may God have mercy. I, I can't bear to see mothers losing their children anymore. I have raised a, I have raised a man. I raised him as a, a child in this England. He's a man and I'm very proud of him. I did it all on my own as a single mother. It wasn't easy, but by the grace of God, if you pray, the joy of the Lord will come down on you. So mothers, fathers, friends, brothers, sisters, let's go on our knees in prayers to God concerning the land of Nigeria, concerning the welfare of our children is very important. And above all, let's vote out those thieves. Those bastards, those idiots, those dead fishes that are sitting on our on our seat of authority, but are not protecting us, are not providing for us. Let's vote them out first. I hope you all may, uh, you all understand this. You all you all listen to this and understand what I'm trying to say in general. The reason I brought England into it is because we are being persecuted everywhere, not just here. Not just here in, in England, everywhere. Everywhere there is a Nigerian. There is a reason to persecute us. You know why? Our leaders are thieves. Our leaders are wrong. Let's vote right this time. Vote Chowere. If, if online, in diaspora, or uh, diasporans have supported Chowere, then you back home, vote Chowere. Vote AAC. And let's see if that change will not come. Let's see if that change will not come. And if it's not going to come, some of us are still going to be watching to challenge. All these people won't they vote for. None of them go do now. Go do. Obahiagmo. To come speak uh, uh, English when they mix with Bini and Ibo. Who do not vote those kind of people? And somebody was money to me that uh, Igmiladion's daughter, uh, must, uh, what do they call that girl in, a, in a House of Rep? That she's hopelessly useless. Of course she will be. The, the brother was governor only to come in a thief and go so what do you expect is it not the same blood is it not their father who is their father so all i'm telling you now is please let's be sensible in, in a, with our vote i will come again maybe soon i have been so distracted by my own my own my own uh, needs too but that does not mean you are all not on my mind I love every one of you. Uh, Shagun, I can see that you are watching me. They say you did America, they vex. That's why I won't tag you. Because you don't even bother to say, Sister, come on, let me come and see you in London. And I know you are watching me, so you will hear. Um, Michael Kayode, thank you, my dear brother. God bless you. Lily Angel, Omosoge, thank you. Thank you, every, every Nigerian all around the world. We love each other. I love you all. God bless you. May God protect you. May God cause his light to shine upon you. May God give you the grace to excel beyond your widest dream. And may, above all, may God give you sense to vote right this time. Don't vote wrong. So that the grace of God we locate Nigeria and abide. I love you all. Have a good afternoon and remain blessed. Bye-bye. Thank you, D.